In this video, we're going to go back and forth between polar and rectangular coordinates. On this first problem, we're starting with polar coordinates, and we would like to go to rectangular coordinates. This tends to be the easiest direction to go because we have these two equations. We have that x is equal to r cosine theta, and we have that y is equal to r sine theta, so it's really just a direct substitution. So x will be equal to 5 times cosine of 270. That's going to be 5 times the cosine of 270, which is 0. So x is 0. And the y value will be r times sine of 270. Sine of 270 is negative 1. So the y value is negative 5. <clears throat> so the conclusion here is that the ordered pair in rectangular coordinates is 0, comma, negative 5. You can also visualize that from looking at this point. This says go to 270 degrees, which is the negative y-axis, and go out 5 units. So that would put us at 0, negative 5. Similarly, for the next one, we just have to plug and chug. So x is equal to r, which is negative 5, times cosine of 3 pi over 4. So that will be negative 5 times the cosine of 3 pi over 4 is negative root 2 over 2. And that is going to be 5 square root of 2 over 2. And then the y value will be r times sine of 3 pi over 4. So that's negative 5 times square root of 2 over 2. And that is negative 5 root 2 over 2. So that makes the final ordered pair uh, 5 square root of 2 over 2, comma, negative 5 square root of 2 over 2. And let's make sure that that makes sense. This point down here is in quadrant 4. This point right here, 3 pi over 4 is in quadrant 2, but we have a negative r value, so that shoots us down into quadrant number 4. So that looks like we've done it correctly. Now the harder direction is starting with rectangular and going over to polar. So let's take a look at that. So here we have that x is equal to 8, and we have that y is equal to negative 8 root 3. We need two different equations here. We need to know what r is, and we need to know what theta is. Let's go with r first. So the equation we use is that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So r squared is going to be 64 plus 64 times 3. When we square this, we, this is a product, so we square the negative 8 to get 64, we square the root 3 to get 3, and this is going to end up being, if we wanted to, we could be clever and factor out 64, and we have 1 plus 3, so this is going to be 4 times 64, and that is going to be 128 times 2, which is 256. And then we have to get r from that, so we take the square root of 256. And if we take the square root of 256, we get 16. And I'm choosing positive 16. The standard representation will be with a positive r value. If they asked us something crazy like use a negative r value, they would tell us we could use positive or negative. The standard representation is to have a positive r value and a theta value that's between 0 and 2 pi. Now to get the theta value, tangent of theta is y divided by x. So tangent of theta is going to be equal to, we look over here, y divided by x, the 8's will cancel, and we'll have negative root 3. And so we need to make sure that we pick the right theta that satisfies the quadrant restriction. This puts us in quadrant 4, positive and then negative. So in quadrant 4, 
that would put us down at 5 pi over 3. So this tells us that theta is 5 pi over 3 by looking at the unit circle. And we're looking at the 12 sector unit circle, the 12 sector unit circle at 300 degrees has a tangent value of negative root 3 and in radians that's 5 pi over 3. So and it didn't tell us, in, it, when we look at this, there's no indication whether we should use radians or degrees, so it kind of depends if the question has specific requirements. So we are going to go with r comma theta as 16 comma 5 pi over 3. If they asked us to do it in degrees instead of radians, we would do this. So those are the representations. Hopefully that helps. Of course, let me know if you have any questions.